Hello my YouTubians, welcome to Season 2, uh, Episode 2 of So You Want to Be a Paranormal Investigator. Uh, today we're going to be talking about pestles, when you get new pestles, or when you've used yours for six months or so. Um, this is mine here, okay. Uh, the thing when you buy a new pestle, uh, you have no idea who's touched it, what, what, what energy's been around it, stuff like that. So you want to get off any energy that's not yours, okay? You, you want it to be all your energy. Uh, secondly, when you've used it for a while and doing other stuff for other people, uh, you know, making mixtures and everything else, I mean, even making mixtures for yourself, uh, you want to cleanse that out every once in a while too. So usually every six months to a year is a good idea to to give your, your stuff a cleansing, okay? So, um, No matter what your material is is used to make your your thing, uh, blessed oil, or uh, if you don't have blessed oil, I believe in season one it teaches you how to make blessed oil. But if you don't have blessed oil, um, then you can just use olive oil, right? And you just wanna. Here's my little olive oil container. <laughs> uh, you just want to use a J cloth or, or, or a nice cotton cloth or something. And all we're going to do is wipe it clean. All right. Uh, but as you're doing it, you're saying your prayers, you're saying your cleansing blessings and stuff like that. Now, I'll, I'll say my out loud for the first part here. Uh, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, I ask that you bless my equipment so that it may be used to help others. I also ask for Father Heavens and Mother Earth to cleanse this and keep it true to its nature. I ask for Brother Sun and Sister Moon to bless all that I do to keep it true and to keep it pure. I ask for Brother Mountain and Sister Water to help me achieve the goals that are set out before me so that things are good and to cleanse this. I ask for the four directions and the four winds that know all and see all to make sure that nothing negative can attach to my equipment. And I also ask that the elementals make sure to show the way of my medicine to the proper places. See you soon. It's that simple. So that is now been cleaned. So I can give it a minute and then I'm going to wipe it down again. But this time you're wiping it down to take off any extra oil or anything that's you know you, you know you don't want to leave it you don't want to leave it wet so you just you know wipe it down a bit. As you're wiping it down you're saying you know your intentions, what you plan to do with it, and these are things that you're thinking as you're doing it. Keep your mind on the job at hand, okay? Because so much of what we do is about belief, about faith, about energy, and without those things, then it's just words, it's just stuff, you know, without the belief. Uh, and the love and the energy that you put into things, then it's just words, you know, it's just actions. So keep your mind on what you're doing. And keep thinking about the positivity and the love that you want to use with your equipment. There you go. Alright, so 
that's the main uh, first part of cleansing your equipment. Now you gotta clean the inside. Now the best way to clean the inside is with rock salt. And the reason I say rock salt is because it's relatively hard to crunch. <laughs> so you just put a little bit of rock salt in there, like that. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Put a little bit of rock salt in. And basically, uh, you're saying the same things that you said on the outside. Okay? Focusing on your words. think uh, your stuff is clean it picks up all the dirt and and remnants of things that you've already mixed so basically now you got a clean, thorough clean on your equipment so that's how you do it and uh, I suggest every six months it is a good time to uh, to clean your equipment. You know, make sure that your energies are going where that you want them to go. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's my my advice. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do it, but this is what I do. Uh, feel free to do it. Of course, anything that I, I show you on here is here for you to learn and to to use if you wish. All right. Um, so. There you have it. Uh, we'll see you probably next week for uh, episode number three, which will be, uh, I'm going to show you how to make a mixture that is safe for everyone to use. You can't mess it up and it can't be used for anything else, obviously. Uh, but how to make sure things don't follow you home. Okay, a little mixture on, on a very simple mixture to, to make sure that you don't get any stragglers. All right? Till next time, be safe.